tray. This one has, again, it's, it's a effective depth in the middle is very deep with this long member, which is actually doubled, as you can see. Um, they're pre-stressed. These members are, are arched, not because they've been steamed that way, but because this heavy bunch of cords at the bottom here have been... That's what these are. These are not supports. These are totally independent. Bing! They're just things used to wind up and get some pretension in those tensile members and then just resting against there. So essentially, it's two crossed members, pre-stressed, effective depth deep in the middle, a little bit of spread here to get some stability. Um, it's a question of just how long that stays that way. Quite oh, yeah. clever. That's good, Mon Michael Joe. You put that in between here so that when the load is on there, there's no way this can flip out sideways because it's being sandwiched between those strings. Perfectly legit. It's using the loading characteristics to work for you. Where do you reckon it's going to break? Probably here. Probably. Again, because it's uh, that's getting kind of long, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It might be. Would you think? Uh, probably through deformation. Is that what you yeah, expect? Yeah. Yeah. What's it weigh? Uh, 25.3. 25.3, okay. Yeah. Uh, Hillary's was, what's the ratio? How about 125 to 1? Yeah. Okay, let's just see what this one does. It's, I mean, they're entirely different bridges in that sense, the but it gets some idea. The sling is quite long, do you think? Or? Well, I think it is. Do you think yeah. we could just do that? Yeah. How's that? Right, now it's not so long. Okay. okay, so now if you could start to, can you spread them out the same way? Probably can. If you put one through there. It will save an awful lot of time if people can be certain that the slinging arrangement is going to be the right size. Um, was that premature of me to do that? Uh, if I put the, the brick this way. Sure. Okay, that's two thousand. Yeah. These are two thousands. What's your needs? Yeah. <laughs> now it's very good that we've got this up, upper camera again this year, so we're going to be able to see deformation either in that plane front on or from above okay now that's just simply settling out things yeah there's no problem with that okay it's taking up its position of rest as they say <laughs> hmm. it's never 2000 a part of the point of having these cameras is not just to sort of be with it as far as the media is concerned but you're busy loading you can see when we watch the, the playbacks afterwards, you can see what happened from above. So don't worry about seeing everything at once. Just be careful the way you load them. I'll stop that from springing off, which would be disastrous. Mm. Now it moves slightly this way. It seems to be sort of flattening out a bit, but that's okay, you see, in a sense. These were flat in the first place, so any flattening, in a way, is just returning it to normal. So providing these strings can take it, and providing they can allow it to flatten out, which might be doubtful, yeah. um, then you're getting loading for nothing, as it were. That's what pre-stressing means, building a stress into the bridge to work against the loading, which is, which is the norm these days. Okay, I think we better put... No I can hear some noises bit of fatigue possibly. Let's get the number three which is the design load anyway. Probably if you put it in this way it'll save time and you can also put it towards the back. See that they're tipping towards the front? Yeah. So you can compensate for a little bit. Now, this back one is bending much more than the front one. In fact, it's bending in the opposite direction. Ooh. Meanwhile, it went over there. So we'll have to pick that one up on the slow-mo. But I think it went where you thought it would. Yes, indeed. We were looking at the left-hand side where, in fact, it broke at the right. Now, the question is, did it break at the far end? Or did it break in the middle first? It looks like... Oh! Now, it looks as if one swings down and hinges because momentarily the other arch holds it. Ah! Now, this time we do have the overhead. We have to look very closely at the right-hand side there in about the middle of the screen. What breaks first? Does the little tiny piece that was pre-stressing it flip out, or does the foot of the arch snap first? 
It's probably going to be extremely quick, so we must look very... Now, it's beginning to distort to the back. It's... Oh, there it was. It broke. It simply broke, actually, where he thought it would. A very interesting bridge, and I think a very good ratio. Although it only just made the design load of three bricks. OK, so now that's sitting on there. So this is...